excuse me. Hey, how are ya? You good? Okay. How the hell are ya? I'm Dan. Welcome back to Bruise with Beck. Alright, on this draft week of the NFL, I've got this tasty brew starting out that uh, one of my local brews I picked up last week. This one is from Santa Cruz. Uh, it's Humble Sea Brewing Company. Um, this is a 6%, six, excuse me, 6.6% on the Richter. Uh, I believe, it, I think I saw that it's double dry hop. Doesn't say in a couple places, but double dry hopped, hazy with Citra, Centennial, Simcoe, and Chinook. Uh, it's supposed to just be fruity, juicy, citrusy, and, you know, not, I, that's all they say on that. But, you know, from Citra, I usually think grapefruit, and from Chinook, maybe a little pine, but we'll see. Always depends how it's brewed out. So, uh, what up, Spindle Tap? Uh, may see you again soon. Uh, Timmy Tebow, how are you? I know you probably don't drink beer. What's up? Go Buffs. Uh, anything else on this? Uh, Santa Cruz in the house with uh, socks and sandals is what this is called, if I didn't already say that. Uh, lovely can. It's for, it's uh, re you know, in honor of their, uh, their tourists up there. All right. Here we go. And on that note, do me a favor, the like button right below me, if you would crush it or hit it, I would really appreciate you. Thank you. Helps me out a lot. And please subscribe. Love to have you see all the beers I taste. Okay. Socks and sandals. I used to be that guy for a little bit when I was a kid. Not, not with those sandals, but more sports sandals. And yeah, didn't get it. I wondered why women didn't come my way. Uh, anyway. Uh, not like they're still coming. I mean, I got, I got one down. That was about it. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to this. Uh, found this at Handy Market in Burbank. Cheers to you, Handy Market. And, uh, I already, I already feel like I can smell it. Obviously the citrus and the dry hop. So those are things you can always smell in these. Excuse me. No words, just emotions. Here we go. Already taste just like I thought I would from Citra. Definitely grapefruit. Um, it's, it's, it feels not session as we know, it's not 5% or below, but it feels lighter. Uh, cause yeah, when I saw six, six, I was like, hey, even if it's not quite six, eight, there's a reason they made it six, six. So it feels pretty light. I get grapefruit right off. Um, I'm going to dig into this tourist, uh, attraction looking beer right now and see what else I get. Give me one second. I'll come back with more notes. All right then. Um, so yeah, first thing you get from this is kind of a, not huge, but you know, leads with grapefruit. Then I would say, and, and, and again, not, not big dry hop, but I feel just subtle dry hop with, with the grapefruit, which then it, it has a little bit of like pineapple, like I'm talking subtle pineapple, subtle melon, um, um, you know, it's kind of, it, as, as they would say, it's tropical. Um, I can't remember. Oh yeah. And yeah, like it might, it has a little, like it, it kind of finishes with a real subtle, uh, piney earthy thing going on. Maybe that's from the Chinook, but I mean, again, and if I was to do this blind, it, it already, you know, six, six is already, you know, light. I, I, I may have guessed six, six, but I also may have guessed six. Like it's, it feel, you know, mouthfeel on this is definitely very, it's not thin, don't get me wrong, but it's not, uh, it's not even 50% mouthfeel. It's, it's, you know, it, it feel, it feels pretty light for a, uh, for a hazy. Um, but again, the flavor stays with you. It's not like it, it comes and, and goes. So that's good. Um, but yeah, very smooth, um, which is good. And for me, uh, I don't want to say bad, just I prefer bigger stuff, but I understand if that's what they're going for with a 6.6 .6 single American hazy. Um, uh, but yeah, no, it's, 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 it's nice. Um, um, yeah, I don't know if that's what they're going for exactly, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, quote unquote, the higher sessionable, uh, six range of uh, hazy, but with nice grapefruit, pineapple, melon, a little bit of earth and, uh, dry up. Just a little bit, but anyhow, let's get to uh, let's see to pour it all up. Yeah, and there and there wasn't really any. It's it's little less than a month in the can, so it's still pretty fresh. Um, um, I am going to give this. I already know. Circle right now on my board. You can see it. 
pretty, pretty, pretty decent. Okay. Um, I don't know what it goes for at the brewery. I think I got this for roughly five bucks. Uh, for you know, again, it's a pint, so not bad. Uh, you know, if you're paying roughly, I mean, I would assume they're maybe their four packs or. 18 bucks or something like that, but, um, uh, yeah, it's nice, um, yeah, if you, especially, you know, if you don't want anything too big, uh, too, too filling, uh, you know, hot day with, with some good flavor that stays with you, there you go, there's your one, with the, uh, nice socks and, uh, I don't know if those are Tevas, they kind of look like Tevas, and they're trying to have flies on them, so, pretty awesome, all right. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to do another one of their, I believe it's, yeah, it's another one of theirs, but I think it's a double uh, next. I forget exactly the name of it, but about two of of Humble Seas. I almost want to say Humble because we go there on occasion down in Texas, Humble, Texas. Uh, but yes, Santa Cruz in the house, uh, represent uh, Biggie Ups yourself, and uh, we'll see you on the next beer review. Peace.